Today I'll be making a comprehensive review of a low budget driver versus a high price driver. The Maisel driver comes in a 9.5 and 10.5 degree loft. It's non-adjustable, whereas the Cobra King driver comes with an adjustable loft, which you can adjust between 9 and 12 degrees. The Cobra King driver also comes with a really cool cover head. The Maisel driver doesn't come with any cover head, which I guess for its price, it's fine. One other really cool feature that the Cobra King driver has is the adjustable weight on the top of the head. Um, for example, if the weight is in the back, you have a little bit more forgiveness. With the weight in the front, you can play a little bit more aggressive. What I want to find out today is how does a low price driver compare to a higher price driver in terms of feeling, distance, and for me, most importantly, consistency. Let's go to the driving range, hit a couple of shots, track them with the launch monitor, see how it feels, and then we're gonna take it on the course for the real test. I'm here at my local driving range. Let's start by hitting a couple of shots with each driver and see, let's just see how it feels. Let's start with the most obvious, uh, which I think is the sound. The Cobra driver has a pretty soft sound compared to the Maisel driver, which has a little bit harder sound. And it's also pretty interesting that the feeling corresponds very much with the, with the sound of the driver. The Cobra King, it feels a little bit softer and the Maisel driver just feels a little bit harder. Let's move to the distance test. Very interesting to see both uh, drivers compared in distance because there wasn't that much of a difference. I really expected the Cobra to do a little bit better. On average, I hit my Cobra 245 yards and the Maisel driver 248 yards. So I did hit the Maisel driver a little bit longer on average. And in order to really see, which is something that's more important to me than the distance itself, is the consistency and the performance on the golf course when it really matters. So I'm gonna take it now to my favorite hole here. That's the tee box right there. It's a 450 yard par five dog leg to the right. In order to have a clear view to the hole, you need to go past this big tree, either on the right or on the left. Ideally you wanna be on the right because then you'll have around 200 yards left to the green and you have a good chance for an eagle or at least a birdie. I'm gonna hit three shots with each driver now to see which one is gonna give me the most chances for birdie or eagle on this hole. And, and this is definitely gonna be a very important factor for me to decide which driver I end up preferring in my bag. I'm gonna start with the Cobra driver. Three shots. Let's try to get them to a good spot. All right, this one had the perfect distance, just a little bit left of the tree. Trying to go a little bit more right now. I don't know if you can see from here, but there are trees on the right and there are big trees on the left, so you need to be very precise uh, in order not to get stuck. So, here we can do it. Right at the tree. Oh, wow. I got so lucky. All three were perfect. I would really take every single one of them any day. So let's see if the Maisel driver can do any better here. Also a good shot, a little bit left. It's the one that's the furthest left. So I'm definitely gonna have the hardest approach shot with that one. But two more to go.
This one went even more left. I might be a little bit uh, between some other trees there. Not ideal. Okay, last one. I'm gonna hit it right off the tree, right past the tree. God damn it, I sliced it. One of the maize elbow balls ended up somewhere in here, so that one's lost. I'm not even gonna look for it. Pretty cool. If you look at it, these are my four other drives. So these three are the Cooper drives. As you can see, they are basically perfect to now uh, attack the green. So I'm really happy with all of those. But also, this is the um, Maisel drive, the only one that's kind of on the fairway. But from a distance, if you just look at the distance, it actually beat all the other drives. So kind of like the, so kind of just like the launch monitor proved, I do have a little bit more distance with the Maisel driver. But as I mentioned before, what's more important to me that to, than distance is actually the consistency that I have with my drives. And as you can see here, the Cobra driver is the clear winner. Now I also just found the second ball that I hit with the Maisel driver. It's in here. In conclusion, I have to say the outcome was pretty interesting. I had more distance with the Maisel driver. The feeling was a little bit better with the Cobra King driver, but in defense of the Maisel driver, I've also been playing longer with the Cobra King, therefore more used to that specific kind of feeling. Um, but at the end of the day, I played a lot more consistent with the Cobra King driver and this is the deciding factor for me um, in order to decide which one of these drivers I want to have in my golf bag. But if you're just looking for like a not too expensive driver, I do have to say the Maisel driver is, is of pretty good quality. I mean, first of all, I do really like the looks. It has like a really cool blue finish on the top, blue blackish finish on the top. It has like a really nice gold finish on the bottom and the face. It did perform well, it did perform really well. As you saw it, it I outdrove my own Cooper King driver. Um, I was struggling with it with the consistency a little bit, but I can also imagine the more you use it, the better your consistency is gonna be. So either way, I'm gonna leave a link in the description for both drivers. If you're interested, check them out. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.